Hi everyone, this is Imran Amu and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video training, I'll be showing you how to customize your WooCommerce email using Umail. Using this plugin, you will be able to customize the design of all the WooCommerce emails your customer receives from you. Say for example, I receive email about new order, cancel order, failed order, order on hold, blah blah. In that cases, you can design your email templates and your templates or emails will look professional. The default emails are so plain and boring. Okay, just uh, to improve the value of your brand, you should customize your WooCommerce email. So, I have provided the link of this plugin. If you click on that link, you will be sent here and just click on this buy now button and follow the steps and you will get the plugin in the downloads list. I'm going to install this plugin. I'm going to install this plugin on my site. Here I'm on the dashboard of my WordPress website and here goes the website and here is the left side and under plugins I'm going to click on add new I'm going to hit upload plugin here goes the plugin file I'm going to drag and drop here hit install now button activate the plugin okay once you have successfully installed and activated the plugin you will hover over here on the WooCommerce menu and you will see email customizer and before we go to email customizer we are going to going to the settings and under emails you will find the following situation when WooCommerce email notification okay and now finally click on email customizer and here goes the interface of this Umail WooCommerce email customizer plugin. Let me introduce you. Firstly, it's a panel and here you will find the elements, button, text, spacer, divider, etc. And here goes the structure. Here goes the setting. And from here, language and the email type, you would like to add the template and here goes the existing orders and you can preview the email template you can export it create a blank template you can use templates here goes the templates okay and help menu everything goes here okay now what I'm going to do I'm going to type for example new order and click on it and here you will see the default email that your customer will see here it is and I'm going to replace this default email with a beautiful template just click on the templates and here you can see all the templates. just for example I'm going to take this on or just go back you can choose any of them just this one okay just hit insert now you can see a large banner color behind it order number some text and customer email address billing address blah blah okay now I'm going to change this color just click on it and here you can see background color so I'm going to add this color well click over here and and it changes instantly I'm going to change this image also just here you can see image just click on it and the option will open up here just you can change image I'm going to use this image 
I'm going to use this image hit select okay now this image has been changed a completely new look of your email template okay now here you can see the text I'm going to click on it and here you can see the option I'm going to change the text color and font size and you can change the font family also but limited options okay just uh, black color is fine always now here you can see the order number if I click over here you can change the text your current whatever you want order number is blah blah just select it and come over here you can change the font color sorry the text color okay now here goes the product quantity price etc if you want you can add any shortcut here to display any extra information just click on it and here you can see this is the shortcut that brings you this information just go to the tag list and here you will see the sections for general get site name get current date get site url get current year get copyright user information get user account url and order get order subtotal get order payment method just click on it okay here it is just once again i'm just going to hit enter and just go to the tag list and order to just change this style okay um, and i wanted to show you that you can display extra information say for example order payment method just click on it direct bank transfer the payment method was direct direct bank transfer just i'm going to remove it then here you can see the option removed and if you want to change the background color I'm going to show you just go to the style okay you can change the background color oh what you can do just go over here and customer details you can change customer details and here goes the information and here goes the logo just click on it and just for image change the logo just for example this logo and you can just change the size okay if you don't this part just click over here you will just be able to remove it okay just click on it and you don't see that okay if you need to add any new row just come over here see the structure and just drag okay now you can add any content here just firstly add the background color add the background color okay and click over here to add any content just social icons social icons and if you click on it and here you will be able to add url for instagram pinterest facebook etc here you will add your facebook url okay 
and just that's all now what i'm going to do i'm going to save it just click over here save as our template new order template just hit save and here you can see the template okay let's see how to test it and how it looks on email i'm going to test it to my this email account just here goes it and send email i'm going to add my email address hit send secure email address okay in the same way you can change the template for other emails just for reset password here goes the email for reset password but you can change it just click on the image change the image okay you can change the text and text color okay pretty easy okay let's see the email here goes it the default email i have got now okay here it is and want you can add any short code from the tag list for user info order billing shipping to customize the email template and if you want you can just export it export as json export as template okay that's all i hope you enjoyed this video and just let me know if you face any issue thank you very much hope to see you in the next video